wanted to tag along. Dude, yeah. I want to book a flight. I'd be serving divorce papers that yeah. fucking morning. Oh. Hi, and welcome to the Savage Podcast. I'm Rose, also known as Cheap Lazy Vegan on YouTube. And I'm Daniel, one of your favorite guest stars on Cheap Lazy Vegan's YouTube channel. We're two friends who love to talk about the latest trending topics. So get comfortable and join us while we give our savage take on just about everything. You are currently listening to the previous episode of this podcast, but if you would like to listen to this week's episode and get some exclusive content, go over to patreon.com slash the savage podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Savage Podcast. Hey, guys, we are back again God for damn. hitting you with another week of God damn. wonderfulness. Yeah. Okay. So I realized just now that, mm. um, well, we're guys, by the way, we're pre-recording this Yeah. because I'm going to be gone most of September. Yeah. Rose is leaving me. I, I is. Well, you's leaving as well. You didn't tell me. Oh, that's true. We're both going on trips in it's September. Crazy. Yeah. It's a little so bit So we decided that we don't want to take another month off because we just did that in like June. June. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to pre-record just like a couple episodes mm-hmm. and... And then, you know, we have some episodes for you. So Exactly. We'll sprinkle it in. Because actually, you know what? Like when we first started the podcast, <laughs> yeah. we used to kind of do this sometimes because like before, like obviously now we t- we kind of focus more on trending like, topics, trending topics exactly. what's going on. But we used to like have like different, a little bit different. Remember we used to talk about like, yeah. random. So before we came up with like a theme for the y- podcast, yeah. we were just like, let's just talk about anything, which you know what? Sometimes it's fun to talk about anything. Exactly. So it's a kind of... Uh, what, what, what do they call it? A break from your regular schedule programming. <laughs> yes. So it's going to be a little bit different because we're yeah. not going to be talking about trending topics since, mm-hmm. you know, this is going to be pre-recorded. Yeah. Um, but what I did realize was that we can't do Patreon shout outs because... Oh my God. So what we'll do is we'll do the shout out for the whatever timely one that we do yeah and then when we're back we'll, we'll do, do all up. the all yeah. the shout outs so don't worry guys yeah, and that's like a really and, good point mm-hmm. so for patreon as if you don't know mm-hmm. okay you need to join our patreon what do they get when they join our patreon rose they get a, an exclusive episode oh. every single month oh wow every month every month okay. uh-huh they get <laughs> all of the episodes a week earlier so especially this is especially important when we're talking about the trending topics yeah you get the episodes a week earlier than everybody else and you get ad free content yeah it's all ad free on there so yeah it's a fun time over there it's mm-hmm. patreon.com slash the savage podcast if you mm-hmm. want to join it starts as little as three dollars a month mm-hmm. which is unheard of in today's economy exactly with inflation guys three dollars don't get you nothing <laughs> exactly but it does get you access to our <laughs> exactly. patreon so there, there you, you go. go so today <laughs> <laughs> so today you guys i thought we, we we thought we'd just do something a little bit fun yeah so, a little off the cuff a little off the cuff but mm-hmm. I've, I've been noticing these um it's i'm basically just copying the theme okay but also you know what another thing about it it is kind of a trending topic right like because you know we, we talk well not really Really a topic. It's a trending, um, not uh, a topic, but a trending uh, format. Yes. Or what is yes. it? What do they call it? You know, like not a viral video, but you know, like there's something that's trending and then everyone copies it and does it. Like a trending. Uh, there's a word, right? Like there's a word for it. Tr- you mean a trend? <laughs> No, but it's okay. I'll, okay. Anyway, you'll think of it. Yeah, maybe. Um. Maybe. So then, basically, on TikTok, what I've noticed is I honestly need to stop starting every sentence. Is I saw this TikTok, but I saw this TikTok. <laughs> you know how many? You know I should do like a compilation video of it's like so bad. Rose literally throughout this entire podcast. Like once upon a time on TikTok, I saw this on TikTok. It's this happened on TikTok. Yeah. I need to stop. Like I need to put a timer on my phone that like bans me from using TikTok for yeah. longer than like maybe thirty minutes. Yeah. So, but there is this. Uh, kind of theme that I see a lot of podcasts doing, maybe okay. not a lot, but at least a few. Yeah. Where basically these people, like, I don't know the full podcast format, right? Like, I haven't actually watched these podcasts, but they post, you know, they post little teasers on TikTok, which we do as well. Yeah. The Savage Podcast, follow us on TikTok. We are on there, guys. Yeah. Um. So these people will post like little bits. And what they do is they go on Reddit, okay? And then they like read, like, it's such an easy, you know, thing, thing. okay? But it is entertaining. Exactly. That's yeah. this is like, you know, maybe it's a gold mine that we need mm. to, you know, catch on to because it's also like it it goes really um, it goes very viral on TikTok as mm. well. Right. Because the, some of these stories are out- outrageous. So what they do is they I'm go excited. on TikTok uh, or they go on uh, Reddit, mm-hmm. which if you don't know, is like a forum where people just like write random shit. Yeah. So they read out you know, things that people have wrote mm. and the theme that a, a lot of people like to read, there's like a subreddit. It's called, am I the asshole? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then people will like read their uh, people on these podcasts. will just read stories from the subreddit. 
and then pe- and then they react. Mm. So we can judge. So I thought we could do the same thing. Just copy the format. Yeah. There we go. So we're gonna do. We're gonna read some stories from this. Am I the from Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? Subreddit. The asshole and then we're gonna we're gonna we're, we can like chime in whenever we can okay. like you know we can just like see Are how we gonna it goes. take turn read, turns reading them. Yeah. So okay. I'll start and then maybe you can you can start. Okay. I I already picked a good one that I I I already saw the title and I was like oh we need to do this. One. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna let Rose read it. And okay, then... so I mean, they might be a little long, but again, we you can chime in whenever. Okay. okay? So here we go. You want to read the title to us? Yes. Am I the asshole for flipping out on my fiance for canceling all the vegan food options from our wedding food menu behind my back? Oh. oh. Short answer: Yes, you are the asshole. Yeah. No, you're not the asshole. Your fiance is the asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my fiance, um, 31 male, and I, 25 female, are getting married soon. There wasn't much that disagreed there wasn't much that we disagreed just, on during the wedding planning except for food. Yeah. Me and my family are vegans and there's so many reasons why we chose this lifestyle and one of them being that we have a history of health issues. So you're plant based. Anyway. <laughs> My fiance and his family are the complete opposite. They are hardcore meat eaters, which is fine by me, obviously. Mm. However, when deciding on the wedding food menu, I wanted to add four to five vegan options. My fiance and his mom objected, saying it was a waste of money over food that isn't real food. (laughs) Divorce immediately. Oh, God. Why are you marrying this man? Um... They also argued that this would be offensive for their guests and suggested my vegan options just be the good old salads and appetizers. These are in quotes, okay? Mm. His mom wanted cupcakes, LOL. I said no because for one, it's me and my family who's paying. It gets even better. It's, like it the, her family's getting, her I, family's fucking paying for it. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, and two, I want to make my guests feel welcome and not be treated as second class citizens by being served salad. Because she's she she has family that has vegan as well. It's yeah. not just her, right? Yeah, there's like a group of them. Exactly. Yeah, and they're paying. What the fuck? Mm. Why is your fiance not paying for any of this? Anyway, my fiance made a face and said, "Isn't that what vegans eat?" According, like, again, salad. Yeah. I'm sorry. Have you been dating this guy for two weeks? Like, that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, is this not your part, like, your life partner? Exactly. Like, is Do not- you not? What the fuck? It's very weird. This, this is what we're saying. People need to stop settling for shitty men or <laughs> shitty people, okay? And then she said, I refuse. I'm, I don't know if this is a sheep, but I'm yeah. just going to, okay. I refuse to argue about it and said it was final. So basically, they did not come to an agreement. Yeah. And basically, th- th- they just didn't want to argue. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> Anyway, continuing. <laughs> this is so fucked. Sometimes I wonder if these stories are real. Yeah. Okay. Maybe people just put them for fun and make Maybe. The other day, I found out that he had canceled all the vegan options and took them off the menu completely and behind my back. I was seething. I called him at work, at, but he kept hanging up on me. <laughs> okay. Going back to your question, <laughs> why are you marrying this guy? And why are you even asking if you're the asshole in this? Like, how do you... I'm sorry. I kind of blame her a little bit because I'm like... Are you delusional that you yeah. you're, you have to, again, you're probably too nice that you're mm. being walked all over. Yeah. But it's like, if you have to ask if you're being the asshole when he's behaving like this. This is crazy. It's insane. Okay. Anyway, he kept hanging up on this fucking poor person. Mm-hmm. I went straight to his workplace and confronted him there and just flipped out on him. He was stunned to see me. He at first said it was his mom's idea. Oh my God. Why do you keep going back to your mama? Uh, Mama's boy. then told me to go home because I was making a scene at the office. The fight continued at home and he defended himself by saying that I sort of made him resort to doing this after I kept brushing off his thoughts and input and refusing to accommodate his family. Why is it accommodation when you don't want any of the options for her family? It doesn't make any sense, guys. Like literally the story makes no sense because like <laughs> at the end of the day, like we're talking about menu options. She's not saying Get them. She said she's, she's not fine. Saying the with, whole thing has to be vegan. Exactly. She's like, we just want a few vegan options for the people that are vegan that are going to be coming to the wedding, which it sounds like quite a few people in her family are vegan. Like, I don't see an issue with that. Like, I, I don't understand. Like, because obviously she's saying, hey, you and your family eat lots of meat. We're going to have the meat options on there. Exactly. You know, it's not going to be a fully vegan wedding. I'm not asking for it to be a fully vegan wedding. I'm just saying, like, can we have these options? And then they went oh. behind her back and removed them. <gasps> oh, when they're paying, when she's paying for and it. Her, yeah. Oh my god. 
So anyway, he's like, oh, you're not accommodating. What the fuck? And then she says, how can he okay, <laughs> wait, just stop there for a second, though, <laughs> guys, like, honestly, how can how can somebody say that they're not being accommodating when they're the ones that are removing the options yes. off the menu for uh-huh. other people? Like, like, what the get actual it. fuckery? These are making me angry. I know. <laughs> like, just actually. Anyway, she said there are plenty of meat options. Why can't I get four or to five vegan options? You can just at a different wedding when he's not there. Yeah. Marry um, someone else. Exactly. <laughs> when I'm paying for it, he yelled that it was his wedding too and not my family's. <laughs> my family said it was fine and they'll figure it out and told me to let it go. But I refuse. Your family is also the asshole for saying let it go. Yeah. Because I'm sorry. What the fuck? Is this a real story? Like. She said, am I the asshole for putting my foot down on this? No, you are the no. asshole for marrying this man. <laughs> I think the, 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 sorry, I can't even speak. <laughs> I, I know, it's shocking. The gist of this story is you're marrying the wrong person. Yes. Get the you're fuck out the while asshole, you still can. You are just the idiot if you marry yeah. this person. Get GTF, get the fuck out. <laughs> GTFO, get the fuck out while you still can. Oh my God, it's actually, and the, yeah, the, the, the top let's see the comment says, Yeah, let's see the comments below. Uh, and oh, I think NTA means not the asshole. Yeah. And for the love of God, don't marry this man. Uh, uh. <laughs> but she has a little update. So yeah. I want to read the update. So right. I think, again, this Did was they voted. Get married? This was voted not the asshole, obviously. Yeah. I think anyone with half a brain can tell you this. Yeah. Um, sometimes I feel like people just write in here just to vent. Yeah. They're probably like, fuck this shit. Probably so mad. I know. Oh my God. Like literally, what the actual fuck? I know. So the update is, so his mom messaged me earlier to try to get me to listen to what she had to say after I kept ignoring her phone calls. She spent long walls of text or she sent long walls of text just to address what I did at her son's workplace, calling it all kinds of stuff from immature to unhinged. She then went to explain how she's noticed that me and my family kept acting dismissive of her son's input and contributions to the wedding. She said that she noticed my behavior towards him and his, her entire family and wanted to speak up earlier, but didn't and tried to, to keep the peace. She then went on to address the food menu issue and denied her involvement in the cancellation of the vegan option. But that didn't mean she doesn't support her son's decision. So basically she did cancel the fucking vegan options. Yeah. Moreover, she thought it was so, ir- so responsible of him to make that move because my continual refusal, refusal to see how this stuff is a waste of money. It's food, dumbass. And, and also... You're not paying for they're it. They're not paying for it. So if they're wasting their money, it's her money. Like, who and her... Oh, and then she said... She pointed out that I kept saying I paid for it and that... Te- no, how I kept saying I pay for it mm-hmm. and said that technically this isn't just my money. It's mine and his because we're getting married and she suggested I wisen up and get rid of my money. I paid for it mentality. <gasps> well, then maybe your son should accommodate for your wife's diet. What the actual fuckery? I don't get it. I uh, Guys, I like honestly, this is like... It's it's shocking. It shocks me that like their that family would believe like that would be like... I, I, don't, I can't even think of a, like a, a similar thing, but it's like... They're not again. They're not asking for the whole wedding to be vegan. Um, they're she's just asking for a few options. Yes. Like th- this is why I'm like mind blown, and the fact that they're paying for the food, like, and yeah, you're getting married, but you still have your money and his money. Like, you know what I yes. mean? Like, you're still gonna be like, oh, I paid for this or I paid for this. But like, it's not even about the paying. It's yeah. like I don't even care if he's paying for it. Yeah. This is it's supposed to be our wedding right like if it's you and him yeah it's supposed to be your wedding together as two people yeah and it's it's also beyond just the wedding it's just the disrespect of oh, your it's so diet it's just everything why are you marrying this person i don't get it like <laughs> people says it's not really about the meat it is about control yeah true someone says it, bingo if this marriage happens um this person will be back here less than a year complaining about how what i don't know what dh I guess that's the husband mm. puts his um, mom behind ahead of her. Cause mm. like, yeah, I feel like he's like this, like, you know, people that are like really obsessed with their mom and yeah. like listen to everything, even though the mom is toxic. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like that. Mama's voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was the first one. Okay, now, damn. do you want to pick how, a random how, how one? How do I do it? Do I just, so do I, just... I think these are the top ones. So okay. maybe just kind of like, you can just pick a random one or just kind of see if something stands out to you. Okay. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, here we go. Okay. <gasps> oh, Are God. we ready for this? I, okay. I don't know if we're ready for this, guys. So okay. am I the asshole <laughs> for going home after I overheard my husband say he didn't want to bring me with him on his uh, to his family vacation? Okay, interesting. I need more context. Mm-hmm. So, and it was voted not the asshole. Oh, okay. you should have told me this. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Should we do a different one? No, just keep going. Okay. My husband goes on annual vacation 
goes on annual vacations with his family. I'm on okay terms with them, but since we've only been married for a short time and I don't see his family much, we still have that barrier that keeps um, that keeps us from being completely comfortable around each other. His family, Wait, hit her and... His family. His family? Okay. Yeah. His family arranged for the vacation last week. I, out of curiosity, asked if I could come. My husband felt hesitant because I told him... Uh, because I told him it'd be a great opportunity for me to get to know his family better. He agreed to take me and his family were surprised to see me, uh, but still welcomed me on the third day of the vacation. His mom, his dad, mom, brothers, and spouses were all sitting at a table outside, um, talking while I was preparing a fruit salad. As I was making my way back, I overheard my mother-in-law say, did she really have nowhere else to spend the weekend? (gasps) At first I had no idea who she was talking about. Um, so I kept on walking, but, but stopped once I overheard my husband say, I know. And I didn't, and I didn't, I didn't want to bring her with me, but what was I supposed to do? You know how pushy she can get. (laughs) How have these people been married? I know. I instantly figured it out, figured it was about me. I felt so shaken up to the point where I almost dropped the salad. This whole time I was there, I cleaned, cooked, looked after the kids. Oh my God. And this is how they think of me an inconvenience to them. This is your husband mm-hmm. you're talking about here. I quietly booked a ticket and went I, I quietly booked a ticket and went home on the first plane. He called and texted, but I didn't respond to anything other than let him let him know when I uh, when I was home. He got back and went off on me saying what I did was disrespectful and juvenile. I told oh him, my- I told him I overheard the conversation he had with his mom, but he said that I was wrong for eavesdropping and that his family will uh- warm up <gasps> to me on their terms, so I should stop pushing to be around. <laughs> that when uh, around that when they don't feel comfortable with it basically saying it was my fault for coming along in the first place he said that going home like him, like made him and his family disappointed and gave them a really bad impression about me I oh think so I, you don't want her there but you also don't want her to go home yeah i think i might have messed things up and somewhat ruined it for them as well you're not the fucking asshole. What the hell? I know. Why do people marry these people? I know. And I don't get it. Cause like all, <laughs> cause all she was doing, like the reason that she wanted to go was cause like she doesn't have the best relationship with his, her in did, her family. Did she say she doesn't have a good relationship no, it's, it's or they're not, just not very close? They're not very close. She doesn't know them. I mean, okay she terms. She said, yeah, she's on okay terms, but she doesn't like, because she doesn't spend that much time with them. So her thought process was like, Hey, a great way to spend more time with them is to go on this annual family vacation. Yes. So she asked her husband like, Hey, can I come as well? Like I want to like get to know your like, family better. It's also like not normal like usually that you don't take your wife on your family vacation i know i thought that was like always normal exactly so it's like again unless there's some specific reason behind it unless you're like a parna or something you know like, <laughs> and she doesn't want to spend your... time yeah. <laughs> she's in the second season of indian match have you been watching it no i haven't but it's there um so it says that they've been married a short time anyway yeah. Uh, girl, it is not too late. Run. Yeah. Okay. Run for the hells. What the fuck? I love like the crazy the thing. The gaslighting is unbelievable of I know. all these people. And then of course, like I think I, pro- I probably would have done something similar. Like I would have been like, okay, well clearly I'm not wanted here. Like, yeah. I think I would have been shocked and left too. Yeah. And it's like, and then, and then he's like, oh, well, you were being immature and childish. It's like your family and you basically said you don't want me here. Yeah. Like. And you could have, the thing is, again, not all families get along like i understand that and families like there's in-laws are very complicated i get it and there's always family drama exactly but the thing is this is your life partner yeah that you've chosen to marry okay that is what the most if not one of the most Mm. important people in your life it should be like probably the most other than your kids because that's like your family now right you've chosen exactly you're creating because the whole idea of getting married and stuff is like you're creating your own family which maybe you'll be your part exactly you're choosing your partner Mm -hmm. and you decided and again, again, I understand mother-in-law, it, c- it can be complicated, yeah. but if, if your wife says, I want to go on this vacation to and, get to know your family better. And then if you if you feel like it's not going to be a good time, mm. you sit her down and you say, listen, I really want you to come, but I think that it might be best if we, you know, maybe, you know, like you have a mature conversation. Yeah. You don't just bring her along and then talk shit about your wife. Oh my God. I know. Your wife that you just married. It's not even like you were like married for so many years that you're just like sick of each other. I know. And I like how like her mom was like, why doesn't she have anywhere else to be this weekend? And then he's like, I know. Oh my God. Can Could you, you imagine? Im- oh. You overheard your husband being like, what? Oh, I know dude. she's, she just wanted to tag along. Dude, I know? wouldn't book a flight. I'd be serving divorce papers that yeah. fucking morning. Oh, you would. Rose would have come <laughs> in with the fruit salad, <laughs> salad, slammed it on the table, but like, enjoy your fruit salad. Fuckers. I'm leaving. <laughs> Give you a fruit. I'll give you a fruit salad like, in a minute. <laughs> what is wrong with people? I know. So 
the consensus. This, honestly, this makes me never want to get married. I know. Like all of like. <laughs> It's just, it, this kind of shit is like crazy to me. But okay, these are just crazy stories, right? Yeah. It's not, most people are This is are not normal, right? Most people are respectful. Yeah. People that we would, okay, here's the thing. Say what you want about us. We might have commitment issues, mm -hmm. okay? But one thing we won't do is settle for this bullshit. No, that's so, okay? so true. I haven't been single for 34 years of my <laughs> life, guys, to put up with something like this. Just to be in a fucking relationship. No, Can you thank imagine, you. like literally? Not signing up for it. No, thank and you. And also, like, first of all... <laughs> These, okay, again, I don't know if these are women, but these people writing this, you need to have a little more like um, self-respect here, okay? Yeah. Like, I, I'm glad this person got on the plane and stuff, yeah. but to even ask, like, Am I and, the I, and I get that, I feel like these people that they're married to, these men, they're men, exactly. So I understand that. But like, you need to have a little more like, you know, just, you know, just think about it for a little bit and realize well, that they are manipulating. They're you. making them feel like they're the crazy exactly. person. Like the, in the first story, they're like, you showed up at his work. You shouldn't have done that. You blow everything out of proportion. And then this one's like, exactly. Oh, you shouldn't have acted like a baby and caught the next flight. Like you should be, the, that was really, yeah. your, you know, that's going to give a bad feelings with my family. Yeah. <laughs> the top comment, not the asshole. Does he even like you? <laughs> But actually, yeah, like, I'm sorry. Do you just not like her? Like, that's so bad. Like, it's it's like, do you not? Because like, you would think like, especially because like, honestly, like fat like at a family gathering, like you would probably want your partner there. Like, I would assume he doesn't like her though. Yeah, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, like, because why else would you like have a problem with your wife who you married, who you want to spend the rest of your fucking life with, mm -hmm. but apparently not your family gatherings. Oh my God, honestly. So I the rest of your can't. life minus the family gatherings. <laughs> then I don't want her there at all. She, hopefully she finds better things God. to do on the weekend. And she was like trying to make an effort too. Like yeah. that's what I feel so that's bad the, that's for That's the sad her. part about this whole story is like she was the one trying to make an effort to get to know his family better. Like yeah. that's what's so sad about this whole thing. And then his family's turning around being such assholes. Oh my God. And honestly. then they flip it on her and are like, you're the immature, like bad person. Exactly. When they, oh. And then when they get caught, like with what they said, he's like, oh, why are you eavesdropping? Yeah. Why are you talking shit? Exactly. Oh my God. And I wasn't eavesdropping. I was like walking away and I could fucking hear what you guys were saying. Oh, I have one. <laughs> oh. <gasps> These are good. I mean, they're, a, they I'm make a, me angry, but. I'm really much, I'm very much enjoying this, uh, this thing. Mm -hmm. This might be kind of sad actually. Oh God. Am I the asshole for calling out my adoptive parents for not helping me with college tuition when they did help their biological children? <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> so I am 17 and youngest in my family. I was adopted at the age of four. My biological mom was best friends with my adoptive mom and she adopted me after my biological mom passed away. Mm -hmm. Any reference to parents below refers to my adoptive parents. Okay. I have three older siblings. My parents covered their college tuition in full, then covered law and medical school for two of them as well. Goddamn rich parents. Holy shit. The other sibling didn't go to grad school. They also gave them a stipend to cover living expenses. Yeah, they must be wealthy. Mm -hmm. I talked to my parents about college and what help I can expect. And surprisingly, they told me that there won't be any help because they don't have any money left after they've paid for my siblings. I wasn't expecting a similar level of support, but I was told, but I was expecting some kind of help. My mom told me that my bio mom didn't leave money for my college. So I'll be on my own. Oh my God, I feel so bad for this oh person. God, I actually feel really bad for them. So I asked if this is really about money or if this is about me being adopted and not their real son. They were offended, but reassured me that they genuinely can't afford it after they've purchased a condo for my sister earlier this year. And it takes a few years for their finances to recover. So it's just my bad luck that this has coincided with me going to college and there's nothing they can do now. I called them out and told them that I'm not buying this explanation at all and they wouldn't be doing this to me if I were their biological child. My dad reminded me that I'm acting in an entitled way and should instead learn that we don't always get what we want. He told me that most parents can't fund their children's college tuition and I'm acting like I'm entitled to a college free co uh, tuition free college when I'm not my but my point has been about being treated unfairly compared to my siblings. In the end, they told me that they don't really need my permission or approval to support any of their kids. 
And I just need to accept that this is their decision. I said in that case, they also need to accept that I believe I'm being treated differently because I'm adopted and their answers have not been convincing. They told me I'm being an entitled brat. Now I fear I have I may have overstepped and indeed maybe I am being an asshole. You are not the asshole. Oh my God, guys. First of all, I I was already like red flags when, I mean, not that it's a red flag. Yeah. It's obviously a good thing that they took this child in. Yeah. But it seems that it happened by accident, yeah. not because they wanted to adopt a child. That's true. Yeah. So already I'm thinking they don't see this child as their own child. No. It's because her, his mom, his adoptive mom and his biological mom were best friends and his biological mom passed away. Yeah. So it almost like, I feel like they were just kind of handed They felt him. obligated. Yes. Because they were such good friends. Exactly. She felt obligated to be like, okay, well, because they already had kids of their own, I'm guessing. Like, well, they do. I'm so mad. At that time when they, when they adopted this, the, yes. this, this boy. And I'm sorry, you bought your daughter a condo. You, college isn't like a surprise, right? No. You don't just like, oh, surprise i'm going to college at whenever time i want you know your you know your child's age Mm -hmm. you know the time that they're going to probably go to college Mm -hmm. and clearly you had enough money to save for three or two of them to take them through med school and grad school but get this okay first (laughs) first of all guys just to add a little bit of context here for a second (laughs) let's just take a step back and acknowledge how fucking expensive so, U.S. colleges are yeah, right. I'm assuming this so, is in U.S. because usually in the U.S. they call it college. Yeah, and in in Canada we call it university. And also in other countries you don't have to pay as much, and that yes. wouldn't be such a big issue, right? And so this uh-huh. is this is my thought process mm-hmm. here. <laughs> this these parents are lo- are loaded. <laughs> these people. They're fucking loaded. Okay, these are not people that are like scrimping and like they bought you know, their child a condo. Yeah, they bought one daughter a condo. Uh-huh. They paid for med school, law school, and and regular school yeah. for three children, plus gave them all stipends while they were in school yeah. for all of this time. Now, I don't know exactly what it is in the U.S. for law school, but here in Canada, law school is seven years, okay? Oh, God damn. Seven years. You got to do four-year undergrad, three-year law school. Med school is even longer. Yeah. You're looking at 10 years. It's so expensive, so, too. I, I just don't buy that if these parents are wealthy enough to do that for those kids, yeah. that they don't have enough. To pay for the 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 hundred percent, and you, and I do think it is that their their decision was like he this he's adopted. They We're, just like didn't think. I think they just maybe didn't. I'm the benefit of the doubt is that they just didn't think about it. Yeah, which is already bad. Yeah, it's not even like I don't know if it was intentional. Yeah, but it's like obviously they're like favoriting their biological children. Yeah. It's just like bad because it's like, you God, know what? Can you imagine? Yeah. If that's the case though, like I'm almost like, and the, again, guys, like you, you, you might think I'm like wrong for saying this or whatever, <clears throat> but like my thought process like is <laughs> they shouldn't have adopted this child in the first place, in the first place, if they were going to treat him like this, like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like he probably like maybe, you know, who knows he could have gotten adopted to a worse family as well, but he also could have adopted, been adopted to a family that like truly Ugh. wanted to take care of him. And like, the thing is, Again, like when you're taking in another child, like as your own, yes. like that they become your child. Like, yes, he, that should be your child. Exactly. Like, so I don't, I just really don't get, I don't get this. Like I'm I, shocked. Yeah. But I knew it immediately when it was like, oh, because, well, first of all, after I read the headline mm. and then he said, oh, my, my mom died. So my, you know, adoptive mom took me. Yeah. I was like, okay, it sounds like, again, it wasn't in, it wasn't, it wasn't really intentional. Yeah. Um, and then of course other people were saying not the asshole if they were helping out, helping with college and housing for their other kids, they should have budgeted yeah. in a way that they at least leave some for your exactly like, like maybe not even pay all of it, but like, like, how give do you not some have money. any money left? I know, they're like, well, we have nothing for what you. are you Sorry. like? Did you lose your business? Like what the fuck? Yeah. Um, and then they said, I don't think you are entitled for assuming that you have at least the same treatment as your siblings. Mm-hmm. Have they showed favoritism like that in, in in any other areas of your life growing up? And this person said, yeah, my siblings were always the favorite, but I don't usually make a fuss about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel so bad for this person. Oh my God. That breaks my heart. Like it's already sad that mm-hmm. you're, you know, I'm sure again, like it's just sad all around. Just yeah. imagine being, first of all, it's already just sad. Just being the only adoptive, yeah. you know, like and I that w- your mom died, exactly. like all this shit, right? Like, it's like you're already having a pretty tough life, you yeah. know? Um, and I'm sure you already feel a little bit, even if your parents were like the nicest in the world, I feel like you would still feel a little bit weird because you you're the adopted one. I always see these documentaries like about right. like adopted kids and they never like, uh, honestly, they like love their parents and yeah. stuff, but they also, they always like, you know, 
I would say so many of them like try to seek out their their biological parents yeah. and like there's like that thing where it's like they don't you know they don't um they love their parents but they're like you know what I, I mean? know and yeah. they, they also feel weird like sometimes they they feel they have like a psychological thing where because like they were abandoned or something like this case yeah. is a little different because his mom died yeah but it's like sometimes they feel like yeah they can't shake this feeling that they were abandoned yeah essentially right which is so sad. Yeah, oh my and that they've been adopted out of like obligation or something. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, oh, so sad. This anyway, is such a sad story, none of these Rose. are assholes. Like, I want to see some assholes. Okay, I know. You pay, okay, if you can either scroll or go back and Let me scroll see. sideways. I see if there's any like LGBTQ plus. Oh, okay. Focus so, ones. So basically, <gasps> this god is fun. Damn. We should do this every time. <laughs> oh god dang you! You ready? I'm ready. Am I the asshole for yelling at my wife for drinking? <laughs> I think I saw this one too. Yeah. Did you? Okay. But I, I didn't, obviously I didn't read it. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm a, I'm a recovering alcoholic. Oh, my, my okay. father was an alcoholic when I was a child and I guess I caught it from him. I've been sober for about a year now and I attend this recovery group once a week that is held by the Mormon church. Oh, okay. I've been gaining an interest in their beliefs and have been considering conversion. Um, but that's, oh. that's another conversation. Definitely. My, my wife went out with her friends this weekend and I found out from her friend's Instagram post that she had been drinking. She held a glass of wine in the photo, but she didn't appear drunk when she got home. I saw the post today and I'm going to be honest, I freaked out. She has been so helpful and supportive during my recovery and I can't believe she would do this to me. What I confronted fuck? her as soon as I saw it and she told me that because she wasn't drinking around me, it wasn't an issue. I told her that when we got married, we promised to support each other through everything and this wasn't being supportive and a direct violation of our vows. She told me to get, get over myself and I lost it and told her that that she was a bad wife oh and my that God. she wasn't committed to us and our relationship. We've been together for four years, married for one. I told her that if she was pregnant, I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat. I wouldn't eat all of the food. She couldn't eat to be supportive. And she told me that she wouldn't expect that from me. So I can't expect her to be sober and that I was being an asshole. After that, I just left and contacted my group leader from my recovery group. And he let me chill at his house while I cooled down. Am I the asshole? Yes, you are the fucking uh asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to say it since the moment you are the fucking asshole. Yeah. I'm sorry. I would understand. Okay. No, first of all, what is with these fucking husbands? Can we just talk about it for a minute? All the husbands are assholes. I know. <laughs> we do we see seen, a theme? I think we're very much seeing a theme here, Rose. <laughs> okay. Listen. Why do, why do we, why do we always quote that? You know, <laughs> single females in their thirties are the happiest demographic. <laughs> they don't have to this do is the why. Bullshit. Yes. First of all, like, I am happy this guy's getting, you know, getting into recovery. Maybe his headspace is just not where it needs to be. Maybe he's extra yeah. irritable because he's not drinking, right? Yeah. These are all factors. But yes, you are the fucking asshole. Yeah. Your wife went drinking without you. Yeah. She is free to do that. She's not the alcoholic. Yeah. Okay. And, and she and, and she even, and I think she made a really good point because he was saying, you know, throughout his journey and stuff, she's been so supportive. Yes. She went out with her friends. He wasn't there. Okay. The only reason he knew that she was drinking and she didn't even come home drunk. She had exactly. a couple drinks. That's another thing. And she posted a picture with her friends. Like maybe she shouldn't have posted the picture. I don't know. I don't know. She uh, fucking post the picture. Yeah. But it's like she did it away from him. Like it wasn't like he was even there. And like you said, she's not the alcoholic. And also, I'm sorry. Even if I think this is a conversation you guys need to have. Like if if your spouse or whatever or your girlfriend, boyfriend is an alcoholic I think it is important that you two have that conversation like, oh yeah am I okay to drink around you like yeah. or do you want you know what I mean and that's for you to decide as a couple yeah and that's shouldn't be also expected necessarily yeah just because you're the alcoholic does not necessarily mean that the other person should be all of a sudden immediately expected to not drink around you yeah. but that is I think out of respect for your partner that is a discussion that you should have separately. of course of course but in a, in a situation where you're not in the room and you're out with your friends <laughs> Your your partner mm -hmm. has every right to have a drink. Yeah, and I think I think oh. we, we've talked about this before, but like honestly, especially like I do feel for alcoholics because like when they do recover and stuff, it's like if you think about all of our social activities. No, I totally feel for them. They're all surrounded around mm -hmm. drinking, right? Which would be really hard. But you're right. Like if you're going out of your way, like if I was with my partner who was a recovering alcoholic, like we would have that discussion where we'd be like, okay, yeah. like what is the boundaries here? Like, should I not be like drinking at the house or like whatever? Probably not. Like, I don't know whatever this discussion would be, but if I went out separately by yeah. myself with some friends out for dinner or something, I'm allowed to have a glass of wine. I'm allowed to have a beer. Like I don't see that as being a problem because like I, again, I'm not the one that is in recovery or, or whatever exactly. else. And also I'm not deliberately like, 
doing it in front of them. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And like tempting them and be like, oh, you should have a drink. Like yeah. if I went out for dinner with them, maybe I won't order a drink. I probably wouldn't. I'd just have a exactly. Diet Coke or something. You know, like I would be respectful of that person like, in that uh, or or if they said it's okay, then I would. You know what I mean? Like I would, we would have that discussion. Uh-huh. But if they're not even fucking there, they're at home. I went out with my friends or my parents or whoever. I'm allowed to have a drink. This is shocking. It's like the fact that you have to ask this, like, am I the asshole? Like, yeah. I, maybe you had a moment where you like, you know, like snapped especially, irrationally. Especially because he was like, she's been so supportive this exactly. whole time. Like, and he, I imagine called her, has- he called her a bad wife mm-hmm. because she wasn't being supportive. How is she not being supportive? Because yeah. you have a problem. Sorry. Exactly. This is this is like one of those people, <laughs> sorry, that like blame other people. For example, like... Remember the Demi Lovato situation where she went into like a froyo shop yeah. and then like had a meltdown because there was like a diet cookie or something. Yeah. yeah. It's like that. It's like just because you have a problem doesn't mean other people have the same problem. Exactly. Okay? You deal with your triggers and your issues on your own. Yeah. Other people are not responsible and not your wife. Okay. She is not responsible for what she does in her own time separate mm. from you. Mm. Because you're a fucking alcoholic. Like, listen, I fucking feel for alcoholics, hundred yeah. percent. I'm like, great job getting sober and cleaning your life up. Like, that's fantastic. But you gotta clean up your attitude, dude. Exactly. You need to like really like <laughs> focus on that. What do the comments say? I want to know the comments. <laughs> so of course, you know, again, all of these are common sense. I feel like it's like, um, the first first comment I see is, you're the asshole. You're yeah. the recovering alcoholic, not her. She's allowed to drink when she's not with you. And then mm-hmm. someone responded to that saying. <laughs> I'm sure she will have a massive boozy party on the day she finally divorces his unappreciative abusive ass. Oh. <laughs> and then somebody responded to that saying, and he wants to be a Mormon run for the hills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm dying. And then someone's like, for real, he seems controlling now. Mormonism has entered the chat. Oh. And it responds to that. He's a perfect fit for the Mormon church. <laughs> oh my God. I'm- well, these comments are like, so good. I'm li- I'm living for oh it. It's so my, good. That is, I- I'm glad we got an asshole though. Yeah, we did get an asshole, oh and God. and they're it, all the same type of man. God damn. Who me. is it, Daniel? What will be with the man? We need to find one about the woman. Mm, they're on that many apparently. Oh Women seem very uh, rational. <laughs> okay, let me just randomly pick one. Let's see. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, just this is kind of random. Okay, this might be about women. Am I the asshole okay. for pulling out of my best friend's wedding because I am not the maid of honor? My 27 female best friend, 25 female mm-hmm. of 10 years. I guess she's 27. Yeah. Her best friend is 25. And they've been friends for 10 years. Yes. is getting married. Yeah. Some background. My friend lost her father and her two older sisters in a tragic car accident seven years ago. I was her shoulder to cry on. She became attached to me as a second sister and grew close to her um, only living sibling, her brother. Okay. She mm-hmm. became attached to me as a second sister and clo- grew closer to her sibling, her, her brother. Her only, yeah. Yes. She doesn't talk much about her relationship, so I was surprised and excited when she was showed us her engagement ring. Maybe it was presumptuous, but I thought I was going to be her maid of honor. She didn't bring it up after her engagement announcement, but I didn't think much of it at the time. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to yesterday when our group of friends got together and one brought up a conversation about the wedding. My best friend said that she was planning on formally inviting all of us to be in her wedding party. I asked her who was going to be her maid of honor, thinking it was going to be me, but she says she was going to choose her brother, 29 male, instead. I blew up. I told her it was ridiculous that she was going to choose her brother to be her man of honor. (laughs) She looked confused and upset, reminding me of how much her brother means to her. I reminded her that I'm her best friend and that she's taking this opportunity from me. She started to cry and apologized and said that her mind was made up and that her brother deserved that role. I was upset too and I told her I wouldn't be attending her wedding and that I wouldn't I couldn't believe my best friend would betray me like that. Our friends think I'm being <laughs> dramatic, but am but I'm really pissed off. Am I the asshole? <laughs> yes. You are the fucking asshole. <laughs> You are the motherfucking asshole like, of all what assholes. The actual fuck. Are you insane? First of all, what the fuck? I know. First of all, <laughs> oh, I mean, there's just so much, so much stuff here, guys. <laughs> so like, much to unpack. First of all, this poor girl has been through shit. Has for, been through so much trauma. And the only family member she has left is her sweet br- brother. brother. And yeah, who cares if she wants to call it a man of honor? Exactly. Who the fuck gives a shit? 
Oh my like, god. This is her first of all, this is her wedding, mm-hmm. okay? And you are not the center of attention in her wedding. What is this? Okay, first of all, what is this also this obsession with, with being, being a maid of honor? I know, I don't get it. Like, it's also like so much work. <laughs> like, yeah. you have to do a lot, okay? Like, I get it. Like, mm. you know, it's your best friend and mm. I understand. I think it's be, it's probably fun and it's it's an honorable role, okay? Yeah. But at the same time, it's not that big of a deal. Exactly. It's one day. Like, I'm just happy to be invited. Exactly. And you're still in the wedding party. That's another thing. Exactly. You're in the wedding party. So you are part of the closest thing, uh, yeah. closest people. Yeah. And she chose her brother. It's not like she chose some random I girl. I know. Like, it would be different. I feel like it would be, this story would have a little bit of credibility if she, like, <laughs> picked some random person. But again, it's her fucking wedding, right? Like, <laughs> it's her decision of who she wants to be her her man or maid of honor. And, like, honestly, if I was in that situation, I probably would choose my brother as well. You yes. know what I mean? Like, especially, like, their family. They're, like, he's also gone through through all that traumatic shit of like losing a parent and all of your other siblings. Like that's horrible. Like, yeah. And that you're really close to that person. That whole traumatic event made you really close with your brother. Yeah. Like why the fuck would they not be the person that you want being your man of honor? You know what I mean? Exactly. And I think people, they just get so caught up with this shit. I'm like, it really doesn't matter that much. It's a day. That's the thing. You have mm-hmm. to remember, this is just a day. Maybe yeah. a couple weeks because there's planning and yeah. you know you could do a bachelorette or whatever. But at yeah. the end of the day, it is truly for the day that you are the maid of honor. You know what else I'm noticing? What? How many of these are related to weddings? <laughs> and relationships? Yeah, but, but mostly weddings. <laughs> like weddings, yeah. Honestly, I, I put my... I, I, I am adamant <laughs> that weddings bring out the worst in people. This is the thing. It's like I always... Like I understand it's stressful to mm. you know plan something that is a lot of people coming. It's an event. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, why? Like, this is supposed to be a fun day. Uh, yeah. So like, why are you like over? But again, it's because like people get so fucking dramatic. I know. Like, I honestly, I'm like, I don't, I legitimately do not don't understand. want a big wedding. Oh, you don't, you don't understand. I don't, okay. because like all of the drama, like I honestly, even like, I, obviously yeah. I won't go into it. Like, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but like all the drama that I've heard with like friends yeah. and all kinds of stuff, it's always, always around the, always drama, always around the wedding. Yeah. There's always shit going on in the wedding. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I already said mm-hmm. like, guys, this is what's going to happen if I, you know, not if, when I meet my, my person, yeah. um, or whoever, yeah. um, we're going to, my plan is, well, depending on what they want to do, but like, I hope they don't want a fucking big wedding. Cause I'm just going to be like, no, that you can be like, you can plan it. Yeah. Um, you do everything. And, um, we can talk about the, the dishes later. Yeah. We'll talk, we'll talk about the, mm-hmm. um, but my plan was, which I think it would be really awesome. Like the more I think about it is like, I would love to do like an elopement. So like me and my partner, like just the two of us go to like a beautiful place. Like I'm, I, I have my eye on Portugal cause I love Portugal oh, so much so nice. and get like, you know, hire a photographer there, get some yeah. amazing shots in like Lisbon. Imagine like oh. your wedding shots in the, in the streets oh, of Portugal's Lisbon. Portugal's so beautiful. Yeah. And get married there, have like a ceremony, just the two of you with like a officiant and whatever. I want to go to your wedding. And then I, I ain't gonna be your maid of honor. Oh, God damn. I'm gonna else. I'm gonna throw a hissy fit. Oh, God damn. But, and then what I was thinking of doing that would be like the main thing. And then after we're officially married, like continue like a little trip there Aww. for like a week or two, then come back and do like a a nice dinner. Like a big party. Yeah, like a big yeah. party at like a community center or something and yeah. just have all of our friends and family come. Yeah. Nothing at, really super dramatic. And then maybe have like a slideshow of the pictures from yeah. the wedding. You could do like speeches, but nothing crazy. Exactly. Because yeah. I, I still I still want my family members to kind of be a part of yeah. it. But like one, it's like weddings are so expensive, so stressful, all yeah. this stuff. And I'm like, I'd rather take the money that and probably even a fraction of the money I would spend yeah. on the wedding, go on a really nice trip with my partner, incorporate the wedding there, and then you know, for a little bit of other extra money as well, do like a, like a yeah. party or whatever. I think that that's the, fun. that to me sounds like perfect. Honestly, that's the fun part of the wedding anyway, right? Exactly. Like the, like the reception and then you don't have to make it like, you know, super formal and exactly. have like a bridal party. You can literally just have like a couple, couple people make a speech. You exactly. Can do a like nice little, you know, dance. Like that's it. Exactly. I think that's the best. Like honestly, that is exactly what I'm doing. guys. Yeah. Well, you Hopefully know, Hopefully my partner agrees. <laughs> <laughs> it's just insane. It, and also these people that make weddings about them when it's not even your wedding. I know. Like, oh God, that's the biggest that's thing. Another thing. It's like, this is not your wedding. This is not your, like, I understand that sometimes brides can, uh, brides and grooms can be, you know, difficult too. Yeah. Like I get it. Okay. But at the same time, it's like, this isn't your wedding. This it's, is, it always like, blows my mind when, especially it's like somebody who's like, it's not even their wedding and they're so vocal about all this stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, bitch, sit down. Yeah. It's not even your wedding. You're not paying for anything. And also, why do I have a feeling that they're not as close as she thinks she is? Yeah. Cause like, it sounds like she's fucking dramatic as fuck. Yeah. Second of all, 
the fact that she said she doesn't talk much about her relationship. I'm sorry, you're close to her, but yet you don't hear anything about her relationship. That's a, that's a red flag. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you expect her to choose you as your maid of honor. Mm-hmm. I feel like she, it, might, it might be a little bit of a one-sided relationship. Yeah, and then the, dr- the drama being like, well, if I'm not your maid of honor, I'm not coming to your fucking wedding. Yeah. I'm like, okay, t- calm the calm the fuck down. <laughs> so, top comment. Yeah. My favorite part of, about oh, this is Oh, God, really the they're so comments. good, guys. Um, You're the asshole and insanely dramatic and honestly preposterous. You're actually doing her a favor by not going to the wedding <laughs> at this point. 35,000 likes on that comment. Did Can you, you imagine re- posting this and then 35,000 people are like, you're the fucking asshole. <laughs> Did you write the comment, Rose? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the comment and yeah. then the response to that comment, gotta hand it to the original post. Um, I think OP means ori- ori- yeah. original post. Way to make three people tra- three people's tragic deaths and a wedding that has nothing to do with you all about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying, guys. Oh, my God. Honestly. But it's so true. Like, honestly, what I don't get is while this, these people are typing this stuff up, like this girl that was typing this up being like, am I the asshole? Yeah. Like, as you're reading it, because <laughs> because all of these stories that we've listened to so far, they've been very clear cut. Yeah. You know, there hasn't been one that I've read so far or that we've read where there's like a bit of gray area where I'm like, hmm, maybe they're the asshole. Maybe they're not the asshole. They're like very like clear in the sand as someone that's not even related or in this situation, just reading what's being like written down. And I'm like, I know. Do they not like if I'm typing this, if I was writing this and I'm like asking if I'm the asshole, I would like read through it. I'd be like, "Mm, yeah, I am the fucking asshole. I am the asshole. Or like my partner is a fucking asshole and I need to divorce him. Exactly. I need to split up with them right now. It's like, that's the thing. It's like, it's so obvious mm. Like when we read it and like all the responses are obvious. Yeah. So it's like, what I don't get is like these people, it's like, do you, do you have no common sense? Do you have no, you know, have you well, never? Well, let's be honest. This girl sounds like she's a, she's a but real none treat. Of, none of these people, I mean, either the assholes or the people that these non-assholes are writing about. Yeah. Like none of these people have any self-awareness. I know. Do you know what I mean? And then anyway, yeah. she did a few edits here. So let's read her edits. Uh-huh. She wrote, Edit, I get that she's close to her brother and she's honoring her lost family, but it's kind of ridiculous to have a bunch of girls as bridesmaids and then a man as the man of honor. I'm heartbroken. Why is it ridiculous? Well, I don't understand. Who the fuck cares? If you want to have a fucking traditional ass wedding, you can do that. Yeah. But you don't even like, these are just stupid rules that we put on. I I know. Oh, another comment or another edit. It says for people commenting about walking down the aisle, I think she plans on having her mother walk her. Okay. Who cares? That's, That's not relevant. Should we do one more? <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if I can. Pick one, Daniel. Oh, God damn. But it's, it's actually shocking how little self-awareness people have. Mm. Or how much people are willing to deal with shit and then think that they are at fault. Yeah. It's either one or the other. God, there's so many about weddings. Okay, do another one. Oh, my God. The weddings like, are always dramatic. I know. Do another one, Daniel. <laughs> this is a good one. Okay, okay. This one's good because it involves, involves a divorce. Um, no. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Divorce is also dramatic. Okay. <clears throat> so, am I the asshole for selling my engagement ring to get <laughs> to get my deposit back and refusing to give my ex the difference? <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep reading. Uh, wait. Okay. Sh- wait, selling my engagement ring and to get the deposit back? To get it says to get my deposit back and refusing. So let's get, get let's get into this. Okay, I don't know get, exactly let's what get you into mean. it. Yeah. I'll try to keep things short. My ex fiance and I dated for three years, and we were engaged for seven months. Did she say ex fiance? Yeah, ex fiance. Okay. So they were. They never got married. They got engaged, and then they yeah. split up. So <laughs> he left me for his best friend <laughs> because they were both in love, and la la la. They wanted to try it out before running out of time. I'm I'm bitter, yes, but it is what it is. There was no cheating or anything else. Okay. The thing is, we were getting ready to be together before the wedding. We were, yeah, we were getting ready to be together uh, before the wedding and we decided to move to a bigger place so he could have his office at home. While we were dating, we lived there for a year, but then decided to move separately because we weren't able to find a place near both our jobs and he had to drive 45 minutes to one hour while I only did 15 minutes. We found one five months ago and I alone paid the deposit with the understanding that we were supposed to get it back since we were going to move and eventually buy something for us. Okay. So I guess they had a house. So she paid the deposit for this new place. Paid a deposit for another place, yeah. Okay. Since we didn't, I decided to stay where I already live, since it's smaller and cheaper and closer to my job. So I lost my deposit around $1,700. Damn. And and with no other way to get my money back, I sold the engagement ring he bought me, and I got $7,500. I said, fuck it. I will keep the rest for what he did. But three days later... 
three days after I sold it, he contacted me asking to meet me so I could give him the ring <laughs> and he could give me the deposit in full so I wouldn't lose any money. I said, no need, bro. I already sold it. And he got mad because the ring is worth more than the deposit. He's asking for the difference. <laughs> and I said, no, because, because it's mine and I don't owe him shit and hung up. I told, I told my family about it and my sister said I was kind of shitty because I'm obviously taking advantage of being spiteful since I, th- um, since I think he still owes me for breaking my heart and that to be yeah. true, I haven't lost any money with this breakup because he compensated, compensated for anything we spent at the beginning and the only thing we left unclear was, uh, was the deposit, which he was going to pay in full when we only needed to do, to, to do go half so I should give the extra money I got. Okay, wait, let me get this straight. So she had a ring, okay? Yeah. She sold the ring. Yeah. And she is keeping all the money that she sold from the ring, which is I which is more than this deposit that, that she paid. Yeah. So essentially, she she lost 1700 bucks. Yes. For, this for deposit. the deposit for the home. Yes. Right. So she lost that. She never got it back. And yeah, then, the way this person worded it is a bit confusing. I, know, I was like, very, you mean, what do you mean a deposit for the ring? That's what I thought she was saying. I know, okay. but it sounded like they were going to get another house. Sure, okay. and, and I'm, I don't know. So what, then she did sell the ring. We yeah. don't know for how much. 7500 7500 Yeah. So that minus seventeen. that's quite a bit of money. Yeah. So she sold it and she's keeping all the money. Yeah. He's not, she's not giving him anything. Exactly. <laughs> this one's a little bit tough. What do you think? Is she the asshole? I don't know. This is actually a more of a tough one. This one's a little bit more on the gray area because this is, this is I feel like this is a conversation that I think people might have differing uh, thoughts because yeah. the, the thing with an engagement ring is different, right? It's like, mm. it's a gift. Is it? Well, it would be kind of considered a gift. Like this is, this is where it gets complicated. Cause right. Like when you think about your being in a relationship, it's like, okay, if we were in a relationship yeah. and I bought you as part of our relationship, I'm in love with you. I yeah. buy you this super expensive necklace. Would never happen. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> but let's say I do. I buy you a $10,000 necklace. Okay, great. Never would happen, but you know, let's just say it did. <laughs> and then we split up and you sold the said necklace and made $10,000 on it. Like, I don't know if I could necessarily go back to you. And you know say, what? Actually, I've decided she's not the asshole. Yeah. Well, <laughs> because of what you just said, like, it's a gift. Yeah. You gave me a ring. Yeah. You promised me forever. Yeah. And you decide to break off the engagement. It's this, not my fault. This is true. I feel like it, maybe if it was more of a mutual decision, then you might give the rings back. God, I don't, Cause some people give I the rings so. back. Yeah. I, that's the thing. This is why it's a gray area because yeah. some people, you know, like it is, that's the thing. You get a ring for the purpose of mm. getting married. So if the marriage breaks up, like, I I think it should be up to the person that yeah. received it. Yeah. Because some people just give it back because they're like, fuck this. Yeah. Like, I don't want anything to do with this person anymore. But like, I mean, I don't know. This is a tough one because like, it is it is a gift and it's like this promise of like getting married and whatever else. And like in this example, like he betrayed her, uh-huh. right? Like he like left her for his best friend. Exactly. Which is already a little, you know, that's already fucking shitty. Yeah. Cause it sounded like, I guess his be- was his best friend a man? Like, is it like, cause it sounded like, a man? She, I don't know. Cause it sounded like at the big, at the top, she was like, cause they wanted to try it or whatever or something. I don't know. No, uh, try it out. But wait, they were both in love and they wanted to try it out before, running i feel like this person just doesn't know how to word things maybe it was a girl though yeah, yeah. it could have been it a girl been or a guy either way yeah. he broke their vows yeah and but, but it sounds like he was being pretty amicable and like was paying for everything and yeah like, so that's why it's a little tough yeah so it's um, kind of like you know do, do you be spiteful and kind of like is or is that spiteful like holding on to that money from the ring like because he said he was going to sell the ring that's and the, give her her deposit i guess back. it really depends on um whether or not we see the ring as a gift mm. or simply a part of the relationship. Mm-hmm. Because I think if you see the ring as a gift, someone is giving you a gift, yeah. then I think you are not, you, the person giving it is not owed the thing back. Yeah. Cause like, what's the rule here guys? Cause I've never been in this situation. I don't situation. know. This is also stupid as well. I've never been engaged Have, like, and broke <laughs> off an engagement. Like is the rule, like if you bought me a laptop, like you get it back. Like, is that well, like, well, I, how does this all work? You I know? think once you get married, that's when things get complicated, right? That's when yeah. you have to divide assets and all this stuff. Yeah. Um, which is why, you know, it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you get a prenup, also, folks. Also, this whole idea of like engagement rings is also stupid in the first place. Yeah. Just this obsession with engagement rings and how fucking expensive they are. Oh my God. And, and there's like this, there's like the unwritten rule. They're like the, pardon me. They're like <laughs> the engagement ring should be like 
three months of the guy's minimum salary. three months his salary. it's absolutely ridiculous so like i'm like are you fucking kidding me first of all i would give me never... a fucking 20 dollar ring bitch yeah. i don't care exactly like i'm just gonna wear okay, it on maybe here 200 dollars. yeah like a couple hundred bucks just a nice one yeah and I you will can never get it under- you you can get a nice ring for that. It's absolutely fine. Yeah. I will never understand this obsession with yeah. like these rings. It's so stupid. I'm sorry. Like, and 50% of y'all are going to end a divorce anyway. Exactly. And then what, like, you know, I want to know actually guys in the comment section, what is your guys' thought well, process on engagement rings? let me read some comments because it's quite interesting. Ooh, this is, is it the, very divided? Well, this is interesting. So the Kay. first comment says, this one has 2.4K likes. Okay. Not the asshole. He broke the engagement. You get to keep the ring. If you broke it, he gets it back. Okay. So that's their kind of perception. Mm-hmm. Somebody responded to that saying, legally speaking, not necessarily. In a lot of places in the US, an engagement ring is ne- recognized as a conditional gift. Uh. The condition it, condition being it comes with the recipient. It becomes the recipients with marriage. Based off a quick Google, Montana, it is... What? The peop- these people do not know how to write. I know. I'm like, what the hell Based is going off on? a quick Google search, Montana, in Montana, it is a con- unconditional gift. In five states, it matters who called off the wedding and the rest, it goes back to the giver. Mm. Interesting. That is so interesting. I guess this is like, it's more of a... I get, I mean, she's asking if she's the asshole. We're, we're talking legally. Yeah. So it says, um, and then this person says, if the original post changed her mind about kids or cheated or some other relationship shattering thing, should the ex be out for no longer wanting to get married? I'd say no. Why should it be different? Because the ex decided getting married would be wrong for a different reason. So morally, I'd say the original poster owes the leftover money back interesting Mm -hmm. it is interesting because he he did call off the wedding right like he didn't he did there was no cheating she said there was no nothing he just called it off because he had another person that he was like yes but then really should he be punished for changing his mind is what this person is saying god this is tough this is why you don't buy an expensive fucking ring guys exactly do not buy an expensive (laughs) ring because then you wouldn't be in this situation also this is supposed to be forever and never bitch yeah if it was a couple hundred bucks Mm -hmm. i'd be like fucking keep it Uh uh-huh like, exactly. I don't care, but I mean like 10 grand. Like, I'm like, okay, well, first of all, I'd never spend 10 grand, but you know. <laughs> yeah, this is all very divided. Somebody yeah. says, I don't agree at all. As in, she doesn't agree that the person is not the asshole. Yeah. She says, um, they both made a promise to marry. She was in good p- faith, keeping her promise. He was not. He broke the engagement. So she shouldn't be. P- oh, this is the person that responded. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this person thinks he broke the engagement. So she shouldn't be punished for it. Yeah. And then someone responded. But to she's that. not being punished. Though. Exactly. Somebody responded to that saying he also should be punished for realizing he, has, he doesn't want to marry her and actually love someone else original poster said that he they didn't cheat it was amicable sorted all the financial aspects blah 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 and so yeah like she's not really being punished right no, cause like because the punishment involves like you know because ah, in some ways i guess she has emotional punishment mm-hmm. but like at the end of the day like she's not financially out and if anything she's already been made whole when she got the 1700 bucks yeah so actually and he is being punished yeah. Because he's not getting that money back. This is a really tough one, guys. I know. But also, he's not being punished because, I mean, he just made a poor decision. Like, yeah. why did you, you know, like, why did you give her a ring? Well, this is it. So, in kind of in some ways, I'm like, you know, shame on, <laughs> not shame on you, but fool on you. Like, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you bought her the ring. You did all this. Like, you know, you should have thought maybe a little bit more about your actions before Ex- you did it. So, <laughs> yeah. maybe you should be out that money. I don't know, guys. Like, the, I'm actually on the fence about this one. I'm, I'm like, on the fence, too. Like, I, yeah. I understand. Like, I feel like I kind of get both sides. I do, too. Because I feel like she's bitter and she's like, fuck this bullshit. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I if I was on his sho- in his shoes, yeah. he's not really an asshole either, right? Because it's yeah. like... Because he, 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 he actually, if anything, he's not being an asshole because... Being an asshole would have been to go through with the marriage when he had feelings for potentially for someone oh, else. Oh, hundred percent. And then well. being miserable in a relationship, exactly. right? So he actually was being the bigger person. Exactly. I mean, like we're not doing the right. Like I'm not yeah. doing the right thing. Here. But also, maybe you guys should have had a discussion about what to do with the engagement ring up. Yeah. Before you, you know, decided to split ways <laughs> and sell it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. before you decide to sell it, y'all should have had a prior discussion. Exactly. I think. Yeah. I think m- maybe she is the asshole. <laughs> I can't. No, decide. I don't know, guys. I don't know. This is a tough one. I think. I think she's. I think if you were an uh, legal stuff aside, mm. right? I think if you're a decent person and, you know, and he wasn't a complete asshole in the re- relationship, it sounds like. Yeah. Then, it sounds like he's actually you know, a pretty decent guy overall. Yeah, like, as, you know, shitty as it is and as bitter as you probably would be if yeah. this happened, I probably would have, like, 
again, this is me thinking I'm a good person. If I was mm. being a good person, I probably would have like sat down and said, hey, so what are we going to do with this engagement ring? Mm. Like, you know, do I give it back to you? Like, what do we do? Yeah. So because that would have been the mature thing to do yeah, is to have a discussion about the engagement ring or whatever other things that you may have given each other. Mm. Because that's usually what people do at the end of, you know, a relationship. You like give each other back your stuff. And not, just, so sad. And, and not just be like, sorry, bro. Sold it already. Uh-huh. No worries. Yeah. So I guess an engagement ring is a little different from other gifts because, yeah. you know, if, if you gave me a purse, it's like, it's not, con- yeah, it's not conditioned upon anything. This right? is, that is actually, and then I never thought about it that way, but like yeah. thinking about it the legal way, like it is a conditional gift, mm-hmm. right? Like it, it would be like, um, well, actually, no, that's not a good example. But like, yeah, it's like the one gift that like you're giving somebody because we're going to start a life together. We're going to get married. If we don't get married. Yeah. The engagement right. ring means nothing. Exactly. All the expensive necklaces and yeah. the purses that I'm going to buy you. Well, like if we were in a relationship, <laughs> you can keep them, Rose. But all, the, I would... all the $10 necklaces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the like candy ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but like, I guess you're right. Like when you think of it that way, there is a conditional on it. It's not really your ring until uh-huh. you're married. So I think like, yeah, if you were being you know, like a fair person. I feel mm. like the, you know, the, the girl or whoever received the ring would have probably been like, okay, so what do we do with, about this ring? Yeah. Especially cause usually, cause yeah. I, I don't think the wedding bands are usually that expensive, right? It's I the, don't think engage, so. it's the yeah, engagement yeah. ring. That's like oh, God. the big one. So stupid. So <laughs> who makes these rules up? I don't know. Anyway, that was anyway, fun. That was. We I, should do it again next I liked time. It. Well, you guys let us know what you thought in, in the comment section below. Yeah. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, if you guys like, like this content, maybe we can throw yeah. this in once a month exactly. or something. Exactly. Or, if you have any other Reddit threads that you think would be very fun to like Ooh. dissect and read through, because yeah. I don't really know much about Reddit, but I just know that this thread exists. Oh, and Reddit's huge. Oh, it's huge. And it's a space. Yeah. Can you imagine posting something on there and then you're like, am I the asshole? And everyone, like literally like 50,000 people are like, you're the fucking asshole. Oh, God. <laughs> And I'll be like, okay, see you guys. I'm never going but on But hey, again. like if you need a dose of reality, yeah, you might want to post a reality post on check, there. right? So. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that was really fun. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make mm-hmm. sure you join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash the savage podcast. Yeah. And uh, maybe we'll do extras on there. Who knows? Like yeah. of these ones for the Ooh. bonuses. Um, if you found this format, you know, entertaining, mm-hmm. let us know if you're watching this on YouTube, type it in the comments. Yeah. If you are listening on any podcast platform, make sure you give us a little rating, a yeah. little review, and also tell your friends and tell your family. Yes. And yeah. And if you're not already, follow us on Instagram at the Savage Podcast. Yeah. Check out our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash the Savage Podcast, where you guys get exclusive content um, and all of the content on there you get early like a week early and also it's all uh, ad free as well all right thank you so much for listening and we'll see you guys in the next episode Bye. bye